And now, our feature presentation. Sit back, relax, and shut your damn mouths. Monday morning, 7.43 a.m., 73 degrees outside. Joined now in studio by OKP Films. Gentlemen, gigantic success with Deja 2 last year. You're back in studio with another venture this year. How do you top what you did a year ago? AJ, I'm telling you this right now. This will be the dopest thing Minneapolis has ever seen. It is going to be five times more better than last year's. More better? The production house that brought you Deja 2 is at it again. Aries is excited to announce a partnership with OKP Films for this year's epic birthday party. Tonight, my friends, we are going to show and tell the nominations for the Upper Midwest Emmys. Director, non-live post-produced short form. Booze Cruise DJ2, GH Media Works, LLC. Welcome back to Primetime Perk. OKP Films is in the house, fresh off their Emmy nod from Deja Vu Party Bus, right? Congrats on that. What's up your sleeve next? Oh, we have the biggest birthday party movie video extravaganza dropping soon this fall. Parties? Whoa, you guys a little old to be doing all that now? No, 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 Perk. Hey, you should come to the party this year. Okay, uh, when's that? Tell the folks. October 4th. Sounds good, guys. Well, we were out of time, but we appreciate your time. We're back after this. PA, PA, how's it going, man? How's it going? What's up, man? Hey, any truth to the rumors that you're going to be in OKP Films' next big movie? Oh, that movie's going to be awesome, and the party after is going to be lit AF. I better get an invite. Uh, any other truth to the rumor that you're so old and creepy that they don't want you at the actual party? Man, you dumbass, give me... Way to go, guys. Way to go. You run all over town promoting this fucking birthday video, and you haven't even thought of what you're gonna do yet, have you? Five minutes and he's already being freaking uh, negative. No, no, right? I'm not being negative. I'm just saying write a script. Write a script. How about doing it in February instead of September? That's all I'm saying. Each year you guys bite off more and more than you can chew, and all I'm saying is, I got a baby. I'm trying to move to the suburbs. Plan ahead, I don't have time for this shit. It's stressful. Aw, oh, man, ooyakapooey, uh, we Gucci, baby. Ooyakapooey, ooyakapooey. I, I don't know what that means. Nobody knows what that word means. But I know you guys are going to come up with a James Bond spoof. No, we're not doing another James Bond spoof. I refuse. I personally believe that there's still some life in the Booze Cruise franchise. There is. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. First of all, we're trying to broaden our audience. How in the hell are people going to even understand what was going on in the first two if they haven't seen it? It's easy. At the beginning of this one, we have like 15, 20 seconds where we recap the first two. Keeps how, people how would that even work? It's easy, dude. All right. Booze Cruise 1. Red Dragon blows up Agent Red Pat's girlfriend. Boom! He spends the rest of the movie on a wild goose chase over the clue Voyager. Kills a guy. Neck snap. Kills the Panama Man after finding out that Voyager is a boat. Finds Red Dragon. Hello, Mr. Rickbath. I've been expecting you. And a movie. It wasn't great, but remember the sequel, Booze Cruise Deja 2. Booze Cruise Deja 2, the sequel. Turns out Red Dragon shot him at the end of Booze Cruise. He falls off the boat. A year later, he's alive. He's convinced to come out of retirement to stop Red Dragon from building a stadium. Red Dragon doesn't believe it. I saw him die. Agent Redpath goes on a killing spree of henchmen. Next snap. Red Dragon buries some people in Vegas. He laughs a lot. It ends on the new boat. Let the games begin. It's going to be one hell of a party. End credits. Scene. Jesus, that's a lot worse than I remember. All right. This year, we won't cop out. We won't do a sequel. We'll do a prequel. Um, turns out Red Dragon, Agent Redpath were friends before this. We were partners in this prequel. And maybe we'll get to find out how you got that little red eye patch. That's an eye patch? <laughs> you brought me here to talk about the Viking, in it. He was the man who set this whole thing in motion. Years ago, before Voyager, before Deja, these men weren't enemies, nah. They were partners.
It's worse than we thought. It's one of us. What's the lead? Have you seen Red lately? No. No, it can't be. He's in Shanghai closing in on his source. He's solving this. The Viking has been ahead of us for way too long. Slaughtering our men. He's been tipped off. I won't believe it. We've located a server north of here. It might contain intel on the Viking. Take the tiger, secure the data. It's our last chance at stopping this. We got him. Bring him in. It shouldn't have come to this. Nah, I'm not doing another Bond theme again, dude. The Bond thing is our brand, dude. Don't overthink it, it'll be dope. Yeah, but let's not underthink it as well. All right, or how about this? What if we do like legit reenactments of movie scenes? We've been talking about that since day one. Yeah, I'm down. We could do like an 80s theme party where we do like a poltergeist spoof or something. Something like Andre the Giant. Baby Huey here do that in his sleep. <laughs> poltergeist, what was wrong with your childhood? How about we choose a movie that people have actually seen? I, I know something we've all seen. Pretty good on that thing. Shut up. Noah! Noah, you have to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Car. No, 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 Doc. I just got here. If Jennifer is here. We're gonna take the truck for a spin. Bring her along. This concerns her too. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? We become assholes or something? No, no, no. It's the party. Something has to be done about the party. Wait, when did you come from? 37 years in the future. We're still doing this in 37 years? Hey, Doc. We better back up. We don't have enough road to get to 88. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. I don't know, man. Like, for starters, where are we going to find a DeLorean? And secondly, Noah hasn't even seen Back to the Future. Who hasn't seen Back to the yeah, Future? Yeah. He's only seen two movies, Sister Act and Father of the Bride. I've seen Back to the Future, but I was like eight years old, so I don't remember the context of everything. But what if we recreated this super iconic scene, right, that, that everybody knows? These, these two people are on the road, mm -hmm. right? They get in this super intense situation, and then they get in this really passionate argument, right? Mm -hmm. The two characters, they're storm chasers. No, no. Ooh, uh -huh. Are you talking uh, about? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bill, help. Bill, help me. Joe, we should leave. No, no, no. Get no, no. the sensors. We got to get out of here no. now. It's going to no, jump. No. Bell throws the in if it drops. If it's anywhere near us, it's not going to drop anywhere near us. It's going to drop right on us. Ah. We can still do this if we... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, Bill. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Forget it, Joe! Forget it! Go back! It's not too late! Go back! Forget it! It's too late! Help me! Help me! Tell me! Tell me! the pack's wasted! It's over! What is wrong with you? We can still do this! Jesus Christ! Listen to yourself! You're obsessed! You've never seen what that thing can do! Did I tell me I'm not? You've never seen it! You've never seen it miss this house and miss that house and come after you. Christ, Joe, is that what you think it did? Jesus, Joe, why can't you just forget it? You don't understand, okay? You'll never know. When's it gonna be enough, huh? 
How close do you have to get? Talk to me! Joe, things go wrong. You can't explain it. You can't predict it. You and yourself won't bring your dad back. Sorry he died, but it was a long time ago. You gotta move on. Stop living in the past and look what you got right in front of you. What are you saying? Me, Joe. We are not doing a scene from Twister. What is your obsession with that movie, man? I'm not obsessed with Twister. Dude, you're wearing a fucking Twister shirt. Who even has one of those? I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, no one would even understand that scene anyways. I grew up five miles from where that scene was filmed. I knew a girl who was actually in the movie, and I still don't know that scene. Wait, I was supposed to play Helen Hunt in this thing? Yeah. No, no. no. None of us can act for shit. Uh, what if we took it in a different direction with minimal dialogue? We, we stick with that trailer format. Grant and I travel the globe and we have to reunite. So when we find each other, we throw this bomb ass Ooh, party. Ooh, that could be dope, 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 dope. Right? Yeah, reuniting, how did you get separated? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm sure I'll say in the script. Dude, it, we'll be in all these amazing locations, like, and, and you're all over the place. Like, it'll be epic. So let me get this straight. You're gonna travel around the globe, country to country, for all this B-roll that might end up being two seconds in the finished video? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> in a world where two friends have been separated by fate, they must do whatever it takes to find each other and throw the most epic birthday party anyone has ever seen. Noah, if you find this, I'm in London. P.S. I went to Stonehenge. It was underwhelming. Grant, I will find you. Starring Grant Ridpath and Noah Furchie. Parties in New York? The party's in New York. Search party. Big Apple. Big party. So you're gonna fly all your guests out to New York City? Uh, I'm Hell confused. Yes. Yeah, why not? First year, we had a party bus. The next two years, we had boats. Why not on a plane? Let's deliver to our fans. Yeah, are you guys gonna be the ones that pay roughly $525,000 to do this? Because I'm not. I got a baby. Maybe. I'm, I'm moving to the suburbs. suburbs. Well, I got time for this shit. Well, I am. Then I don't. We could get sponsors. <sighs> like who? I don't know. There's got to be a company out there cool enough to back a project like this. They've got to be out there. Yeah, the Bulldog downtown's got the best cheese curds in Minneapolis. Nobody does food, beverages, or just an all-around good time, like the Bulldog downtown. Speaking of good times, next time we're in Miami, we gotta rent some jet skis from Miami Beach Sports. That place is lit. Ooh, I got it. Do you remember last year in Miami, we mm -hmm. bought all those white jeans to hit the club in? And you remember how hyped we got when we got inside those white jeans? What if we made a video about how dope things are in our white jeans? I don't know, how would that go? On the beach in my white jeans. In the club in my white jeans. Whoa, 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 jeans. Whoa, 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 Wearing white jeans, look at this, all this denim Feel bad for the dudes that's in them They got the blues that are tubes like venom Check the hues and pantaloons we've been in Blue jeans, that's a fad You jeans, that's a dad White jeans, these are rad Hit the club In my white jeans In my white jeans Get some hugs In my white jeans Grab some jugs In my white jeans In the whip In my white jeans Dipping chips In my white jeans Dipping In my white jeans Oh, my jeans they define me. I 
Where I'm in the nursing home when I'm 90. Find my wifey, spin my lifey. You can find me in my white jeans. All right, get him, Greg. Get in on this. Show me you got something to say, dog. My name is Grant. I wear white pants. Watch me do my dance. On the strip, in my white jeans. Do a flip, in my white jeans. Take a shit, in my white jeans. Just a dip, in my white jeans. On the scene, in my white jeans. In my scheme, in my white jeans. PhD, in my white jeans. These white jeans, they define me. I wear them in the nursing home when I'm 90. Find my wifey, spin my lifey. You can find me in my white jeans. These white jeans, they define me. I wear them in the nursing home when I'm 90. Find my wifey, spin my lifey. You can find me in my white jeans. Even my dog's got white jeans. Damn it, you assholes. Hey, Lonely Island Club, they want their song back. You guys suck at rapping. Uh, I like that idea way more better. Yeah, who taught you grammar? You clowns still haven't pitched one realistic idea dude, that we can Jesus, shoot. chill, Whatever, dude. We're gonna be all right. Go take a smoke break or something, all right? Give us five minutes. Noah and I are gonna figure out what we're gonna do, and I promise when you get back, we will have an idea that you will love. For starters, fuck Joe. Uh -huh. Every idea we had was dope. Yeah, no, he's got a point though. We should probably choose one to start shooting. No, no. Honestly, what if we did them all, dude? That's uh, that's kind of ridiculous, but damn, fuck it, man. Uyakapui. Which one do you want to do first? You ready to put on them white jeans? That's a dumb idea. Did you hit record? Yeah, I think so. I think we're rolling. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Down. Three, two, one. Whoa, 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 white jeans. Whoa, 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 whoa
Dogs got white jeans.